morning. It's Wednesday morning today. We're all ready, about to go for breakfast. And then after that, the boys are gonna go swimming while I pack up the cases ready for our train later. So I won't take you to breakfast because it won't be any different from what you've seen yesterday. But we're looking forward to our adventures again today and heading off and like I say, I've never been on a train in a different country before, so fingers crossed. <laughs> it's not an issue, not a drama. I don't think the train station's far away, so we're just going to get a taxi from the hotel to take us there. And I think, what did we pay for the tickets? <laughs> I think 68 euros, again for four of us. And that's a return trip and it's a three hour train. So I guess it does just go to show the difference between European train cost versus the UK train cost because there's no way we would have been able to get tickets for that cost in the UK so I think we're doing well so we'll see you in a bit no so I'm not having a very good UC day today and um, for anyone who's seen previous videos I've got ulcerative colitis and uh, yeah today is not a good day which isn't great when you know you've got a three hour train journey coming up um, so I've just been kind of resting this morning, the boys are at the pool and then I realised as I was looking at our train tickets that I made a mistake in the price and it was about 60 odd euros each way so I think it was 122 in total which again for a return for four of us still think was really good value so yeah we've got like another hour or so before we need to leave the hotel so I'm just kind of resting just drinking some peppermint tea and hoping that I start to feel a little better soon but not great when this kind of stuff happens when you're on holiday um but it does often happen when I'm traveling in fact most times it does happen and I don't know if it's just being out of like kilter with my own settings and food and drink that kind of stuff I don't really know what kind of causes it maybe it's just a bit of stress or anxiety about traveling and feeling responsible for getting everyone from A to B but yeah we'll see hopefully I'll start feeling better soon certainly in time for a long train journey so we just got on the train no dramas yay <laughs> yay yeah, Oscar's got some snacks we're gonna watch a movie just going back to where we came from. <laughs> <laughs> my dad's just pointing out that the train we just got a taxi to this train station but the train passes that train station that was next door to our hotel so well done me i owe him 15 euros <laughs> We've just arrived at Hotel Your Soul in Seo, which is where we're gonna be staying for the next four nights. So let's do a little room tour. So we've got a little single bed in here for Oscar. It's very cute. Bathroom here. B-day. We had one in the other hotel that was hiding behind the door actually. Hello. And then our bed is two beds pushed together, so plenty of space and chest of drawers either side, so hopefully they won't kind of slide out like they tend to. Um, TV and cupboards, and there is a wardrobe over here, which I think is where the pillows are. Ah, yes. Okay, plenty of space there. We have also brought our own hangers, which... We like to take travel hangers, and then let's see what the view is. Oh, oh this way. Okay, we've got a little shutter. Yeah. Okay, that is not a one-handed job. Uh, where's the shutter thingy? What's this thing do? Aha! Uh -huh. Oh wow, okay room with a definite view look at that that is incredible wow hey. so we're just going to unpack and then we're meeting all the family for dinner at six o'clock and we're excited because not seeing anybody in a very long time so and of course it's wedding week so lots to be excited about 
it's now quite a bit later and we've met up with my brother and my future sister-in-law and um oh yeah that's my dad and we're in like i don't know how to describe it it's a tiny pub behind us but they've made this little gazebo area so we're literally sat on the street and we've just had pizza ordered which oscar has the pizza yeah it's really good yeah it's really really good like the best pizza i think i've eaten in a very long time so we're just here eating and drinking we've got barack coming what? barack we think that's what it is but it's traditional portuguese fare so it's a steak with an egg on the top with chips and with rice so we're very excited for that i we are a few drinks in having a great time but yeah, there's like a party in the street. We're doing it Portuguese style. <laughs> Are you a bit cold, Oscar? Are you nice and toasty now with all your blankets? Uh -huh. Oscar, who have you found? Have you found Uncle Joe? Are you nice and toasty? <laughs> Did you enjoy your pizza? Yeah. Are you full? Right. Yeah. Good boy. Would you go? Yeah. You enjoying Portugal? Hi. We're getting the name wrong. This is Bitok, which is the steak, the egg, some sauce, rice and chips and it looks bloody lovely. Very traditional. Very traditional. So we've just finished our evening with the Portugal contingent and the hospitality was immense. Like, we had lovely food, lovely drink and now it's getting a bit late, getting a bit chilly but we'll be better prepared for tomorrow because I think there's a round two tomorrow with everybody here so yeah we'll make sure Oscar's all wrapped up and everything And um, but it was so lovely and it was just a really nice start to our first day here so we'll end this little bit here and we'll see you tomorrow for more adventures Good morning, so we're at the Hotel Eurosol and it's our first morning so we're going to go and head down for breakfast and see what's on offer and then at 10.30 we're going to meet my family for some pastries and some coffee and then, I don't know, I think we're just going to explore because there's so much to see here so we'll see what today brings but we'll bring you along so there's pastries fruit, bread more fruit yoghurt Got some scrambled egg, Nutella spreads, and meat and cheeses. We're back from breakfast now, and we've just had a little bit of chill time, just getting our room sorted, our bags sorted, and things. And then, yeah, we're going out for pastries, and then hopefully doing a little bit of sightseeing around here because we had a brief kind of walk around last night when we were going to the place where we were meeting for dinner and everything and it looks so pretty it really is like a really pretty little town the weather unfortunately is on the decline so we're praying for saturday that it the rain holds off but fingers crossed so yeah let's, we're just going to try and make the most of our time our next couple of days whilst we're here and hopefully experience some more of portugal we've stopped at Zay Manel for pastries. I'm gonna have a pastel de nata because we've not had one since we've arrived. Is that what you're having as well? And coffee and peppermint tea. And we've just met my brother and he's gone into order for us because his Portuguese was actually pretty good, wasn't it? It was actually quite impressive. He was able to converse, which is more than we can. We've tried to know basic words, but <laughs> other, than that, <laughs> other than that, we're a bit stuck. Um, so yeah, we're looking forward to our pastries pastries this morning and it is a lovely day isn't it? Warming up. We've just ordered our pastries so Oscar's gone for a raisin muffin, we've got the pastel donatas, I think that looks like a donut and then some kind of jam coconut sponge thing. It's a jam coconut fly cake. <laughs> <laughs> that dog's a little husky. <laughs> Hello. So this used to be a castle. A castle? Yeah, so the, um, the, so the whole, almost the whole peninsula was uh, was conquered by the Moors from Morocco. Mm. So there's a, 
uh, Arab state. Yeah. And then there was like a fringe of Christians at the top. Oh. Like in the north. And they start conquering. So how old is this church? The church is not very, like, not as old as the castle was. But the castle was destroyed uh, by Napoleon. Oh. And then they built the church. So it's probably from the 18th century. Wow. Oscar, you didn't finish your practice. You just kind of walked off. So you'll have the plate. Okay. So that's the priest. So you come here next to us, and then the priest will give you half a cup. And then the priest will bless you, and then I'll put one in Joe's finger, and then Joe's another one. Does he look at that view, Oscar? Oscar's playing hide and seek. Oscar! Oscar, come out! Peekaboo! Peekaboo! I can see you! And what a view! We're just outside the toy museum, so we're gonna pop in here for a bit and see if we can do something to keep Oscar amused before maybe having some lunch. Let's try again. Hey. Big fry. Oh. The aiming is right, just a little bit Feels like that came as a little flawed. <laughs> oh, nearly. Do you know Noddy, Oscar? Where? Um, Noddy, with his little blue hat. Noddy. It's Noddy. Most of the people uh, thought that this little boy is Pinocchio. <laughs> <laughs> but it's not. It's not. He's the youngest toy. Yeah, that one looks like a... Straight out of child's one. Yeah. Oh, Wait, what don't about that one? It. It's creepy, it's terrifying. Don't look above it. Oh, there with the pants on. Yeah. yeah. Terrifying. Yeah. Yeah. Terrifying though. Oh, it does look like Gabby Gabby. Oh, that's another sad one. Look. I don't know, why don't we just do one thing at a time, honey? You don't like the doll? What's the idea of her both terrifying? They are literally a thing of nightmares. I quite like them. They look, them ones look like they come out and kill you. 
Pete and I are just having a debate about these baby dolls. I think they're quite cute, they're vintage, but Pete thinks they're the stuff of nightmares. So we're just walking around the toy museum now. It cost us eight euros for all four of us. So good value and something to kind of do in the afternoon and just have a wander around. The red and purple one. This, this one's, one's Lala. 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 Police uniform. Yeah. He's an actual wrestler from the 90s called Big Boss Man. And then, no, can you see those mouse looking people at the back? No. Uh, they're oh, the yeah. biker mice yeah. from three, three Mars. Biker mice Mars. And I can oh, see, I, I can see Mike Wazowski and Boo. Yeah, I see that. And did you see, oh, what's his name from Lilo and Stitch? What? Oh, I forgot. And there's an aeroplane. We found Grandad's favourite yeah, yeah. exhibition. Minicube Press, Mercs, Citroen Diane, DS, sorry. Good stuff, man. There's a Tarzan mural in here. So, this area is set up like a traditional Portuguese school, but at a time when only the boys could go which I think would be Oscar's worst nightmare. Oscar's going to school. You look happy about it. <laughs> this area is all toys from Portugal. The doll's house furniture. Look at the little sewing machines. We've just found a boat that says Zaymanel, which is the name of the pastry shop that we went to. So I wonder if that's connected in some way. In the final exhibition, it's toys that have been made from recyclable material. I love that little pirate ship. We've seen a lot of Disney on the trip, but we like these ones. That's very clever. Wow. Well done. I'm sure. Oh, wow. Well done. Yay. Amazing. Oh. <laughs> So after the toy museum, we just wandered around a little bit more and we were thinking about stopping for some lunch. And as we were getting there, we saw my mom, my sister and my niece getting out of their taxi at the hotel. So we all went to lunch together, which was really nice. And it was like a really nice place actually, just a tiny little cafe that did. I think what we were saying is Portuguese food is quite similar, isn't it? To UK food, so we just had like toasties, pizza, burger, egg and chips, that was me, and it was good. So um, we're just back at the room now, just having a little relax before we're meeting everybody again. I think it sounds like we've got the same kind of plans as last night for tonight, with everyone getting together, which is nice because I think most people are kind of here now, we're all like assembling, so that would be nice. I'm quite happy to have either that B-talk again, all those pizzas, because they were just amazing. So yeah, now we're just going to sit and chill. I've got a brew and yeah, it's just really nice here. We feel very relaxed. Hello. It's Friday today and it is now half four. And as you can see, I've only just got out of the shower and thrown some like clean pyjamas back on. I'm really cross with myself to be honest because last night we went out to a Tuya bar and we ordered the kids some pizzas and we weren't sure what we were going to do for food so didn't really bother and then I started drinking gin like big goblets of gin that were not single measures definitely not 
didn't kind of realise that until this morning when I have not been good today. So like I say, I'm really cross with myself because what a waste of a day when you're on holiday. I mean, maybe I just needed it anyway because the last few weeks have just been mental. So it's, maybe I just needed to kind of lie in bed, but that would have been different had that been of my own accord rather than feeling like I'm going to die. Um, so yeah, a little bit sheepish today, I think. And it's not good, it's chucking it down. Um, which is also forecast for tomorrow's wedding day. So fingers crossed it gets it out of its system today and, and stops for the wedding. Um, so people have done stuff today. Obviously I haven't. I've just been in my little pit of despair. I've only just managed to kind of, what did I have? A cup of tea and had about a quarter of a toasty earlier. And after that, I think I did, that's what helped me start feeling better and in a little sleep. So we got dinner booked tonight um, for the, with the family at like quarter past seven. So I guess we've just got an hour or so to kill before we need to get ready. So I'm gonna have another cup of tea. We've got some cookies, so I might try and have a cookie before dinner, but what a waste of a day in a beautiful place. I honestly feel embarrassed, but we had fun last night, didn't we? <laughs> So that's what matters, I guess. Good morning. So today is wedding day, yay! And I'm a bit nervous, I have to say. Like, I'm just hoping that everything goes well for them. The weather hasn't been so great, but it's looking dry today, so fingers crossed it stays that way. So we've been for breakfast this morning. I couldn't really eat too much because my stomach is in knots a little bit, but did have two croissants and a cup of tea. And we're just about to go and get hair and makeup done, and which is good because this is flaring up again with the constant mask wearing. Um, so hopefully they can cover it up. So I've got a couple of pictures to show them and hopefully they can do something with this and my makeup, but I'll show you when we get back. And then the wedding's not until a little bit later. So I think we're just gonna pop to a cafe to have a bit of lunch. And then, yeah, then we can start getting ready, but oh, I'm so excited for them and just hoping today is a good day. So I'll vlog a little bit, but like I say, I think the actual wedding will keep private. Um, but yeah, I'll show you our outfits and things and we'll see you later. So just got back from hair and makeup and I've got like this front bit out of my face just because of the weather forecast, it might rain again. So. It goes ridiculously curly and frizzy, so I've just had it back and then I've got my hat to put on and then makeup. I've never had my makeup done professionally before. I realised as I was having it done, not even on my own wedding day. So that was nice, although I could have fallen asleep like it was really relaxing. So I've got like a dark, smoky eye and then everything else kind of natural and then lipstick similar to the, my own lipstick that I've got because I don't think that's going to last especially not after eating and drinking and stuff before the wedding so pretty much good to go just need to get dressed now and yeah there wasn't an iron in our room so the boys were a bit worried about their shirts but are you sorted now? Yeah, yeah. Sorted. So just seen Joe and um, my brother and he's just excited happy glad that the weather's kind of holding out so hopefully the big storm yesterday kind of like blew it all through but we'll see fingers crossed so we'll show you our wedding outfits later and then we will see you shortly okay bye oscar is all wedding ready and how handsome does he look we're wedding ready Yay. you think we look beautiful yeah i think you look so handsome i've had to try a different dress but this is the one from the wedding hall, which I will link up above. But we're very excited and it's nearly time now. Are you excited? Mm-hmm. 
Oscar has a very important job. What's your big important job? The ring one, what is it called? The ring bearer. So you're a bit nervous now, aren't you? Yeah. You're going to be fab. Are you excited for the wedding, Ava? Yes! How pretty is your dress? Lovely! Do you look beautiful? Yes! You look so beautiful! Are you very excited now? Weren't the speeches lovely? Mm -hmm. And we did a dance. Yeah. You were so good, weren't you? Mm-hmm. And uh, now it's very late, so we're going to get ready for bed, aren't we? Oscar's mm -hmm. going to help me get out of this dress, bless him. <laughs> um, so yeah, it was just so lovely. Oh, he's already getting undressed. <laughs> um, it was just so lovely, just such a magical day, and I just wish them a lifetime of happiness. And thank you for letting us share your special day with us. So we'll see you soon for travel home day. Bye, good night. Bye. Good morning. We are traveling back to Lisbon today. So we've just been packing up this morning at the hotel in Saya. There's quite a few rough heads this morning. I'm fine. <laughs> He's fine. <laughs> I'm fresh though, so not like Thursday. I had my thing on Thursday and I, I couldn't face the thought of anything else, um, to be honest, because at that point I think my blood was probably like 80% gin. So no drinking for me, which means I am fresh and I'm good to go for another busy travel day. So we're being picked up at 12.30 to go to the train station Nilash. And then it's like a three hour train to Lisbon, but it was really nice actually. The trains here are just so different to the UK in the sense that when we were waiting to get on the train last time, whenever that was, Tuesday, they were mopping the train in between like people being on it, which I have never seen before in the UK. So just goes to show that they're taking, whether that's just a COVID measure, I don't know, but I ain't complaining because the train was absolutely spotless. Everywhere we've been has been spotless. So going to try and get some snacks I think for the train because we're travelling over lunch time so it means we'll skip lunch and in Portugal it's quite a late eating culture so we won't be eating later until at least 7 but we need to have an early night because we've got a flight at 7.30 so we're going to have to be up early so it's probably just going to be a wee bit of a boring day to be honest because we're just getting our bits together we'll do another room tour at the other end see what we can show but we're sad to leave Saya. We were just saying how we just look forward to coming back and seeing our new family because it's just been incredible and the hospitality has been amazing and we've just met so many lovely people and we'd just love to see Saya in the summer because I'll flip you around in a minute but it is booting it down again today which is good that it was today rather than yesterday because we were quite lucky we had mainly dry weather throughout the day and it just rained a little bit later on so we've been lucky i think with the weather and certainly from a wedding perspective but yeah let me tip you around and you can see look at that rain but still like a gorgeous view although you can't really see the mountain what you can see from our window i'm not going to tip the camera out is there oh hold on let me just see there that's the church that they got married in so we could see it from our window I've not heard any church bells though this morning, but look at that, beautiful even when it's misty and rainy. We're on the train from Milash 
to Lisbon. We made a second train, which is good. Like this one, because um, it wasn't like the main departure station, we didn't have long to get on it, and we've got a lot of stuff, so we kind of just sort of like throw ourselves, throw our luggage on it. Um, but now we're just here, we've got some snacks, we're watching Toy Story 4, and the scenery has been pretty good. Nice to like, look out the window. Feeling pretty tired now. And then, um, We've got like another hour on the train, I think, before we get to Lisbon. Are you serious? Another hour? Another hour, yeah. It's been, a, it's felt like a pretty long journey. Um, but yeah, we've had snack. We went to the supermarket to get some Lay's original. We all wanted some ready salted crisps and some cookies. Um, so that's what we've had. But I hope there's somewhere nice for dinner this evening. Although. We've been in Portugal now for a week, but I'm really craving like a big bowl of pasta. I'm not sure that we're going to be able to find that, but that's kind of what I fancy. So not too much longer now. And then, as I said this morning, then we've got to try and get an early night really, because it's going to be an early start tomorrow. after what has felt like a very long travel day it's felt much longer than what we did on Tuesday Tuesday let's do a little room tour yeah. hi Oscar hi right so in this room oh nice bathroom bath overhead shower big mirror two sinks his and her sinks toilet and a bidet which has always been um, what we've seen so far in Portugal and then what's behind these doors big wardrobe not many hangers though we always pack our own we're only here for one night so it's not a problem safe extra blanket oh and then this is the pull out couch for Oscar so it's a couch that pulls out into a double bed. Oh. Desk area. Oh wow, this room is huge. I know. And then a king size bed, he tells us. Oh, and a nice little seating area there with some water, some glasses, some nice like artwork on the walls. Oscar enjoying the king size bed. Wow, TV. Wow, this room really is huge. So Oscar's disappointed that we're only in this room for one night. Um, which I am too actually, it looks gorgeous and I bet there's a lovely view as well. No, it's a bit dark now so we won't be able to see and we'll be checking out at 5.15am for our early flight so I don't think we'll get to enjoy it much. But dinner opens soon around 7 and um, yeah, we'll see what's on the menu. Like I say, I'm really hoping for some pasta. Oh, I got my pasta. So this is chicken and tagliatelle which looks good. Oh, my dad's got broccoli and chicken breast. Chicken breast. He has got a cheeseburger and Oscar has got scrambled egg and chips. So we're just back from dinner for what was our last meal in Portugal and it was very nice, although not very Portuguese, um, but it was very nice. It's nine o'clock now and we want to have an early night because we've got to get up so early tomorrow. And it's just been the loveliest trip. I think I said it earlier, but we just can't wait to come back and see our new extended family and friends that we've made. It's just been the loveliest time. We've honestly just had the best time and just can't wait to come back again, maybe in like the summer when the weather's good, but we'll see. But yeah, we're gonna end this vlog here because I don't know, do people like, I know people like a travel day there, but a travel day home, like we're gonna be knackered. We're not going to enjoy it. I'm sure you're not going to enjoy watching it. So we'll wrap it up here and then we can get everything packed away anyway. So I hope you've enjoyed traveling to Portugal with us. We've certainly had the best time and um, yeah, got some more exciting things coming up. So stay tuned and thanks for watching. Hope to see you again soon. Don't forget to like and subscribe. Bye.